So what's the deal with the Dream Cloud mattress? Is it any good? And is it the right mattress for you? Let's get into it. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I am a scene at home. And in today's video, we have our review of the flagship Dream Cloud mattress. We're just gonna cover everything you need to know about it, including its policies, what it's made of, what it feels like to sleep on, how firm it is, how much it costs, and who should ultimately think about getting this mattress. If that sounds good and you find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel and make sure you look in the description. We have a lot of resources to help you with your mattress search, including our written review of this mattress, comparisons to other beds, best lists, and any discounts we can find to help save you some money on DreamCloud. Let's start by covering the policies you're gonna get with the DreamCloud mattress. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. So if you order one, it's gonna to ship to you totally free inside of a box, which is pretty remarkable given that this is a thicker, heavier mattress, and they even managed to fit king size beds in there. So the process is really quick and easy to do. It takes like roughly a week to ship to your door, and then you just bring it inside, open up the box, rip off the plastic, and then watch your new mattress inflate. I do recommend having someone there to help you because these mattresses can get heavy and unwieldy. One thing I also wanna mention is that right when you unbox a bed, there's a very good chance that it's gonna have a bit of a smell. It might look a little misshapen and it's probably gonna feel really soft, like way softer than you want it to be. This is just because the bed's been compressed in that plastic wrapping for so long and it just takes a little time to fully inflate and reach its proper firmness level. So if you unbox your new mattress and you're horrified by how it looks, it looks totally weird, don't worry, it is normal, just wait a couple of days. Plus, you definitely shouldn't worry about it because DreamCloud gives you a very long trial period. You have 365 nights to sleep on the mattress at home to decide if you actually like it or not. If for whatever reason you don't, it's too soft, it's too firm, you don't like how it feels, you don't like how it looks, whatever, you can return it and get a full refund for free within that trial window. If you decide to keep the mattress though, which most people wind up doing, you're looking at a lifetime warranty with DreamCloud. So DreamCloud definitely goes above and beyond the usual online mattress policies. So those are obviously really generous, but that's probably not the reason you're gonna buy a new mattress. So you're gonna wanna know about more important things. And we're gonna start with what this mattress is actually made of and what it's gonna feel like for you to sleep on. So for the support layer, the DreamCloud mattress uses pocketed coils, which makes it a hybrid. The distinction between all foam beds and hybrid beds is just this. Hybrid beds use coils and other stuff, often foams, and all foam beds use foam for support. So keep that in mind in your online mattress search. Having coils means that this is gonna be a more supportive mattress long-term. If you're heavier, somewhere around 250 pounds or more, we pretty much always recommend you get a hybrid bed like the Dream Cloud. Plus, having coils means you get a little extra bounce and airflow in your mattress, which some people like myself really like. If you are heavier, you'll probably be fine on an all foam bed for a while, like three to five years, but you obviously want your mattress to last a long time. So that's why we recommend coil beds for heavy folks. And then above those coils, you have what DreamCloud calls their sink in layer. This basically is a transition layer between the coils and the primary comfort foam above. Having a transition layer like this basically means you get a bit of an extra buffer between the primary comfort foam and the coils underneath. So you only feel the support from the coils, not the coils themselves. Then the primary comfort layer of the DreamCloud mattress is going to be a pretty thick layer of gel memory foam. Now this foam is gonna be pretty slow to respond, more traditional memory foam. However, the bed overall isn't really gonna feel like a traditional memory foam bed thanks to the quilted cover of DreamCloud. So the cover actually features a thin layer of a more responsive foam than the memory foam underneath. So it kind of balances out the feel a little bit in combination with the coils. So you're gonna sink into this mattress and you will get some of that body conforming quality you might expect from memory foam, but thanks to the coils and the quilted cover, it's gonna be much more balanced and responsive. Me personally, I don't really enjoy the feel of a traditional memory foam mattress, but I think the Dream Cloud is quite comfortable and I think most people would agree. Unless you're specifically seeking out that more classic dense memory foam feel in your mattress, then this might not be the one for you. Let's move over to the subject of firmness now. That's obviously also super important. And the firmness of the Dream Cloud mattress is gonna be very accommodating. In our test, we found it to be around a flat medium on our firmness scale, which means it should be able to work for pretty much any sleeping position, whether that be back, stomach, side, or a combination of all three. This makes a lot of sense because this is DreamCloud's flagship mattress, and it's just trying to appeal to the widest variety of sleepers out there. And most people can get by on a medium, or they really like a medium. Me personally, I am more of a primary side sleeper, but I do rotate quite a bit to my back or even my other shoulder. 
So having a medium firmness is pretty good for me, and I think it'll work well for a lot of people. However, if you want something noticeably firmer, DreamCloud does have an upgraded model called the DreamCloud Premier. It's quite a bit more expensive, but it is closer to a medium firm. And then they actually have a softer mattress called the DreamCloud Premier Rest. We'll have more information about those beds linked in the description. But I think most people will like the medium firmness on the flagship DreamCloud. So you do have multiple options with DreamCloud, although you will be spending quite a bit more money if you want something softer or firmer. But I think most people will be able to get by on the medium firmness of the flagship DreamCloud. Let's move over to the subject of price. This is obviously another super important factor. Your budget is gonna really constrain which mattresses you can get. And I'm happy to report that this mattress is shockingly affordable for what it is. Based on just how it looks and feels, I would expect this mattress to be more expensive based on all the beds that I have tested. But after discount, you should expect to pay somewhere around $1,000 for a queen size dream club which puts it in a very competitive category with more affordable hybrids like Helix and Brooklyn Bedding Signature, and it compares really well to all of those. Plus, as of I'm recording this video, they are offering some free accessories with a mattress purchase like sheets, pillows, and a mattress protector, so you can basically upgrade your whole sleep setup in one go. I will say that mattress brands do like to change their pricing around sometimes, especially around major holidays. Maybe there's a big sale coming up. The MSRP might be a little bit higher to make their discount look even steeper. So make sure you look in the description for what's current on DreamCloud. Either way though, I see this just being a very nice value hybrid mattress. But that leaves us with the question, who should think about getting this mattress? I do think it is a great option for couples. The edge support on this thing is fantastic. And despite it being a coil bed, the motion isolation is actually pretty solid given that it has memory foam and that those coils are pocketed coils as opposed to inner springs. If you have a budget of around $1,000 and you want something that's a hybrid and you're okay with that more responsive memory foam feel, then I think the DreamCloud mattress is a fantastic option. I usually recommend this mattress and the Brooklyn Bedding Signature if someone has a budget of around a grand and they want a hybrid. It's just really hard to beat the price point of DreamCloud given just how nice it is overall. This mattress has gone through quite a few iterations over the years actually, and I think they finally nailed a really good one. But let us know what you think about the DreamCloud mattress. Write us down below in the comment section. We'd love to get your thoughts. And if you have any more additional questions, write us down there as well. We'll do our best to answer them for you. If you found this video at all helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. We've got all the resources you need to help you with your mattress search and you don't want to miss out. Also, make sure you look down below in the description. We have a lot of stuff to help you out with your mattress search, including any discounts we can find on this mattress. There should be something down there. But that's enough for me. Thanks for watching. This is Owen with Seen at Home. I'll see you in the next one.